Hey friends, happy Sunday and welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. Today I have a whole week of meals to share with you, some of which I had made before, some of which I hadn't, a couple new recipes, um, some really good things, some just okay things. But let's go ahead and get into this week's what's for dinner. So Friday night we had grilled cheese and tomato soup. I like to write like little fun national holiday things on our calendar so that if it's like food related I remember to like make food to go with it. And so I had written that it was grilled cheese day on this Friday so decided to make grilled cheese for dinner. This was also good because we had been at our friend's house earlier in the day so it was quick and easy. We just had some sourdough bread and then whatever cheese you wanted that we had in the fridge and then some of us chose to do ham and some of us didn't and then of course we always have our progresso hearty tomato soup to go with that saturday night i did an easy chicken teriyaki and veggie sheet pan meal so here i have a foil lined sheet pan and i've thinly sliced some carrots i've cubed up some zucchini and cut up some broccoli and i have this panda express teriyaki marinade i'm using that along with a little bit of olive oil some salt pepper garlic powder and onion powder and then i'm going to toss that really well to make sure everything is coated and then this went in my oven on 425 for about 25 minutes until mostly my carrots were tender the way i wanted them to be and then on a separate sheet pan i'm going to be adding the chicken i just really like to keep the meat separate because sometimes those juices can flow over to the veggies and then nothing really gets tender the way you want it to everything is just kind of like soggy from like the chicken juices so i prefer to do the meat separate same thing especially like when i'm doing potatoes the potatoes won't like crisp up so that's why i did two separate foil lined pans but in this bowl i have some chicken breast and i like cut it into like basically chicken tender size and then i'm putting on that same marinade along with some seasonings i did some salt and pepper and some garlic powder and onion powder got that all coated really well again this went on the sheet pan in the oven on 425 for about 25 minutes and then i just served this over top some white rice with a little bit extra of that teriyaki sauce and it was delicious and super easy Sunday night we had spaghetti and salad. So I did switch this spaghetti night up a little bit. I was using angel hair pasta instead of regular spaghetti noodles. And then I also used ground Italian sausage instead of ground beef like I usually would. And then we were trying the new uh, ragu. I don't think it's new. It's new to us. The like simply ragu that's like minimal ingredients. And I really liked it. Um, it wasn't like chunky or anything. I do like the chunks in the other sauce, but I know like Elijah doesn't really but this one was really smooth um i did add some extra seasoning to it but i do that with any sauce that i use i typically add in like some garlic powder onion powder italian seasoning and red pepper flakes so i did that like usual and it was really good monday i tried a new recipe from the lemon 8 app this is honey mustard pork chops and potato skillet meal so i'm starting off here by making our like honey mustard sauce i'm mixing together a quarter cup of honey a third a cup of some whole grain mustard or i think mine was actually like stone ground mustard any kind of like grainy mustard like that that's what you want to use and then a tablespoon of lemon juice and a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And then I just whisk that all together really well and set that aside to use later. Then in a large pot, I brought some salted water to a boil, and then I'm going to cook up my like one pound bag of baby potatoes that I have quartered. And I'm just gonna let those par cook for about eight minutes they were mostly cooked all the way through at eight minutes so then i set those to the side i'm going to end up draining them and in my skillet i am melting one tablespoon of butter with one tablespoon of olive oil just to get that nice and melted and then i'm going to add in those drained potatoes and let those just cook for a while till they get nice and crispy on all sides Thank you. 
Once my potatoes got nice and crispy, I removed those from the pan. And then in the same pan, I'm going to add another tablespoon of butter along with another tablespoon of olive oil. Get that nice and melted. And I'm going to add in my pork chops. I've already seasoned the bottom sides of these with some salt and pepper and garlic powder and onion powder. So I'm going to do the same thing to the tops. These are very thin cut pork chops. So I cooked these for about four minutes per side. If yours are a little bit thicker, you might want to cook them a little bit longer. Just do it until they are fully cooked. Once the pork chops are done, I remove those from the pan and set them aside. And then I'm going to dump in that honey mustard sauce that we made. And I just kept this over like a medium high heat for about a minute, stirring frequently. And it started to thicken up. And then I'm going to toss in our potatoes, get those coated really well. And then toss back in the pork chops, get those coated on all sides. And then this is ready to eat. This was delicious. I was so unsure if everybody would like it, but everybody loved it. Lily asked for more potatoes and we ate like all of this. Um, I think there was a little bit left over, like just enough for Andy to take to work the next day for lunch. And I just served this with some green beans on the side. As I said, we all loved it. I will have the recipe linked down below. It was on the Lemonade app. So you'll probably have to download the app to get to the recipe. Um, but yeah, that'll be linked down below for you guys. Tuesday, I made calzones. I'm using the dough from Trader Joe's. I had it in the freezer. So I'd set that out and let it thaw. And I was just struggling like so much with this dough when I was trying to make the calzones. I rolled it out and it was sticking to the parchment paper it was sticking to the cutting board and I was even using like cornmeal and olive oil and it just it was driving me crazy so I didn't end up keeping any of the footage of me doing it because I was just struggling so hard um, but I did end up getting some sort of calzones put together stuffed with some marinara sauce and some pepperoni and mozzarella cheese Get it all folded up, stuck it in the oven on 425 for 12 minutes, and then I sliced it up and served it with a salad, and it was delicious, even though it was a struggle to even get it in the oven. Wednesday, I made a lemon garlic butter tilapia recipe that, again, I found on Lemonade. I've really been loving that app just to find new food recipes because I've gotten so bored with Pinterest. I feel like I see the same things over and over again. And on Lemonade and like TikTok, I feel like I'm seeing fresh new ideas. So this recipe, as I said, is lemon garlic butter tilapia. I'm starting off with some butter in the bottom of my pan and then I put my tilapia on top and then I'm seasoning that with salt pepper, garlic powder, paprika, parsley, and lemon pepper seasoning. And then I was actually out of lemon. I thought I had another fresh lemon in the fridge, but I used it for something else. And so I just drizzled on a little bit of like bottled lemon juice. And then I put in um, like a bulb of garlic that I had cut the top off, put that in there. I don't know if that really does much when you put it in there like this. I think if something had like more liquid and the garlic was like really cooking in, I don't know if the aroma of the garlic bakes into the fish or anything. Um, Y'all let me know what you think about that. But then I topped it with a little bit more butter and then this went in the oven on 350 for about 19 minutes and then I broiled it on high for one minute. To go with this, I just made like some nor box rice and then some zucchini in the air fryer and elijah doesn't like zucchini so he had some cucumber and carrots and to be honest this recipe was nothing special um it sounded so good when i meal planned i was like yes this sounds good a new way to make tilapia and then i was fine with it that morning when i pulled the tilapia out and stuck it in the fridge to thaw i was like yeah we'll have tilapia and then when it came time to cook it i was like I don't want this at all, but it's already thawed out and I need to cook it and not let it go to waste. And Andy was like, we could just order food. And I was like, we could, but then I still have to cook the tilapia tomorrow. And at this point, I don't feel like I'm going to want the tilapia tomorrow either. So I might as well just cook it now and just tolerate it. And that's what happens sometimes when I meal plan. I just kind of tolerate the dinner. I don't necessarily want it at that point. 
but I just tolerate it. And a lot of the times I end up like, yeah, that was delicious, even though I tolerated it in the beginning. This was just okay. It was it was food. It filled our bellies, and that's all you can ask for sometimes. <laughs> And finally, the last meal of the week is another one that came from Lemonade, surprisingly. I told you, I've been getting lots of good ideas there. So I'm starting off here with two chicken breasts in my crock pot. They were still slightly frozen, but it's okay. And then I did two cans of cream of chicken soup and then two cups of water, or you can use chicken broth. I'm going to add in some Nor chicken bouillon to turn mine into a broth and then whatever seasonings you want. I did some garlic powder onion powder, paprika, and pepper. I didn't add any extra salt since, you know, the cream of chicken soup can be kind of salty and also the Nor chicken bouillon can as well. And then I whisked that together as best as I could, got my chicken kind of coated with it, and then I stuck on a stick of butter Then I put the lid on this and I cooked it on high because I got it started a little bit late in the day. So I cooked mine on high for four hours, but you could do low for six to eight. And then at the end of the cook time, all you have to do is go in and shred up your chicken. And then I cooked some egg noodles on the stove to serve this over top of. You could add egg noodles to this if you want. The recipe had instructions for like cooking the egg noodles in this broth, but I'm not a big fan of cooking noodles in my crock pot. But if you're interested in that, the recipe will be linked down below for all of those instructions. This would be really good over some rice as well. Um, someone in the comments on the recipe said it tasted kind of like chicken and dumplings, and I would have to agree. I did need to add a little bit more pepper to it for my taste, but it was very good, and I will definitely be making this one again. That is going to be it for this week's What's for Dinner. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. I hope that you got some new meal ideas. I tried quite a few new things this week, so I hope that that helps y'all out with some new ideas. I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. Let me know which recipes you plan on trying down below, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!